what is up? Welcome to my finished closet tour. All right, so today I'm going to do a little closet tour. I'm going to try and show you a little bit of an extended closet tour. So basically I did a closet tour with Bonkers Closets. It's with the insider, which is kind of ill, but the, the producer of the show and the camera guys were like really, really nice. And I, I thought the show was cool, but I thought I'd just do my own since I, you know, have the closets finally organized. So I thought I'd just kind of show you some stuff that maybe you didn't see on Bonkers Closet and then some other stuff. So these, are, this is like my main closet. This is like my department store closet. I've always, always wanted, like you can kind of see, I'm going to kind of give you an overview. There's lights in here, so it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. So I've always wanted that department store feel with the light up closet. I always thought they looked so cool. And so this is kind of like my department store vibes and it's kind of the light. Okay, so it's kind of all like my pretty aesthetic things. Let me just, this is so firm. Okay, there we go. So up there you see all my bling. That's like my Domino's bling, my Charmin bling, my LaCroix, just all my prized possessions bling, like everything I love in life. And then we have some blue aesthetic going on. I wanted it to be sort of like a department store when they put all the accessories together, so you have to buy all of them because you think they all go really well together. So yeah, that's my blue period. I just got the Van Gogh backpack because my new Sad Boy music video and we were on the Van Gogh exhibit. It's finally here in LA, so I'm really excited. That's a Teal Birkin that I never unboxed. Um, as I said, I don't know if they're going to cut this out of the bonkers, but as I said on the bonkers, Birkins are kind of, <laughs> I like them. They, they make me happy. But I wear my Zohan Adam Sandler purse and I get way more compliments on that. Like, they're cute. And, yeah, if you, like, make money, you're like, I can afford to get a Birkin and it doesn't even, like, hurt. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's fun if you, if you like that sort of thing. And for me, I needed that sense of accomplishment. So, just don't get too caught up on Birkins. Like, I honestly prefer a Louis Vuitton. But Birkins are cute and I'm proud of it. I'm proud that I have one. Um, anyways, okay. So, <laughs> then there's some blue shoes that I never wore but I thought were super, super pretty up there. And just some blue sunglasses. This is the Tiffany Straw. That was like $300. I have another one, but it's all like um, rusted. So yeah. And then I have sunglasses everywhere because I'm obsessed with sunglasses. And then these are the bridal shoes. And I guess you can, okay. Ugh, this is like a bridal shoe reveal. I am not using the pink or the silver right here. I'm actually going to be wearing my Jimmy Choo black sneakers. These came like this from Jimmy Choo and I thought they were like meant to be because my dress is so big. And then for the reception, I have um, this black number because you do see my feet for that. So yeah, I'm wearing sneakers for my wedding. Okay, cool, reveal. And then down there, we have some of my pink favorite things, this pink Chanel furry bag I'm obsessed with. I actually haven't used it yet, but the Christian Dior bag I used, used to use all the time. And then behind there are some pink crystal Uggs. And yeah, just like some of my pink favorite things. So, moving on. This is another one of my favorite things. We'll just kind of go up and down once again. So up there we have a pink Birkin. It was the first one I bought. It was like this crocodile Birkin. And then those shoes are the first blinged up shoes I bought. I was so obsessed. And then that was like my first magazine spread from the New York magazine. So I was like super proud of that. And then there's like my Versace, my first Dolce and Gabbana's, stuff like that. And then going down, we have my Birkins. These are the Bling Birkins that I'm obsessed with. And some Gucci sunglasses. But my pride and joy of this, I'm sure you guys can guess, is my McDonald's Happy Meal. That's Bling. That's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I'm actually obsessed. Then I have some jewelry, just watches and stuff. And then in the drawers, I have more jewelry. I have my favorite jewelry piece over here is all of my, um, can you see? Is all my Jewish ones, my highs, my hand of gods, my star of David, and my evil eye. And then I also have 
Moses' nickname in Hebrew, Moshiko. This is a diamond necklace gave, uh, Moses gave me last year for Thanksgiving. And then there's a bracelet he got me for my birthday, which I actually should wear. I used to wear it every day. I should put it back on because I really like it. And then I have another Star of David over here that I... Can you see? Oh, you can't see it right here. That I love. And then there's a lot of its costume jewelry as well. And so if we're going down... These are just some sunglasses. Oh, these are more. This is more costume jewelry in here. Can you guys see? <laughs> there you go. And then I have a ton of sunglasses. So this is kind of my sunglass collection. Like, if you want to go more in depth, I can. Obviously, showing each pair is going to be so time consuming. But if you want to know my favorites, I love these YSL. These are Saint Laurent ones. And um, yeah, I don't have a least favorite because I'm obsessed with sunglasses. And they'll always fit no matter how much weight you lose or gain. I love my shield glasses. Oh, you guys can't even see. Like, these are, like, iconic. These are Chanel. I'm obsessed with these. Any big glasses for my fat face does wonders. All right. And then my last little showroom is right here. And up there we have my Chanel Duval uh, little bling glasses. And my My Chemical Romance. What the heck? Why, what is happening? My Chemical Romance <laughs> makeup palette, which is my favorite thing there. We got my least favorite Birkin and my favorite Birkin, the little black one, is actually I use all the time. I love it. I don't regret it. That brown one was definitely not the color I wanted. I wanted something more like soft, like caramel tan. That's like burnt brown. Um, and then going down... <clears throat> These are my favorite. I showed these in the bonkers closets. These are my Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. I got these in New York, and I have no regrets about these. I'm obsessed. I used to wear these a lot. I actually love it. I'm still going to wear them. And then down there was another option for my wedding shoes, those black Jimmy shoes. I still really like them, and that's kind of like my black and white motif. And my favorite item was probably that little silver Chanel purse at the bottom in there. <clears throat> Yeah, so this is kind of like an overview of my closet. I guess I can take you like over here. This is just kind of like jackets and stuff. I mean, they were like aesthetically pleasing. And then I love my little Heartbreak Tour um, shirt down there. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't really wear anything in this closet, so I'll probably reorganize it so I can wear things. I just kind of made it look pretty for the... Thing. I do wear a lot of these shirts, however, so let's just flip. This is like Paris Hilton's merch. That's hot. I love that. And this Nicki Minaj Fendi I'm obsessed with. This is like the Balmain that um, Beyonce wore at Coachella. And I love these kind of shirts. I want to get more. This is a Balenciaga, but I want to get a bunch of like, I like the Gucci silk ones like this. Like... They're so comfy. They're just like button downs. And then this is like a Jennifer body like inspired. I actually got this off Doll's Kill. I don't know if we're not supposed to be ordering from Doll's Kill, but I did get it off Doll's Kill. And then up there are my bling Crocs, which I wear. And then over here I have a sad boy section, which is going to be new sad boy stuff really soon. But yeah. All of this will retire really soon. Once Black Friday's hits, we're going to take it off the site because well, we have another Marsan Brands collab coming in October. But for Black Friday, the in-house, the our brand, we started manufacturing our own stuff, hits. So all of this will be retired and will not be made anymore. These were always one of a kind because they're art pieces. Marsan Brands are these amazing designers that hand print and hand paint everything. And I was so fortunate to get to do a collab with them because it really got to like test the waters and see if people wanted Sad Boy merch. And of course I just wanted it. So I was like, you know, if no one else buys it, I'll like it. But you can still get some of these shirts at sadboy2005.com. You can't even get these. I mean, this is kind of, I oh, can't even see. Like those are kind of easy to, like I saw knockoffs of these. So I mean, if you want a knockoff. But <laughs> um, yeah, like those you can't even, people always want the zip up hoodies like this and you can't get them anymore. But we are doing another zip up. But yeah, these hoodies, they all were like hand spray painted. Um, those won't be available for a while. So I kind of keep all of them. These are sold out. Like the shirt's already sold out. So if you want any of the Sad Boy Marsan brand collab from the summer, get it while you can. Like this one's not available anymore. That was in our first one. 
um, and this, we're going to have all new stuff coming, but yeah. We do have flannels coming for the fall and the winter. Uh, people love the zip-up. I, I wear this probably the most, but this is also not available anymore. But we'll have something similar coming. But yeah, SavoyJazz5.com. Get it while you can. Then I got some bling boots from Tour. Some more bling boots up there. This little section right here. If you just see the top real quick, I got some Balenciagas, some mini ones. I got some Guess and Cruella purses because they're pretty. And I have just some more random ones I thought kind of go with the color motif. Um, yeah, this is all just kind of more aesthetically pleasing stuff to the eye. I don't necessarily, oh, well, I do love this free people dress. Moses got me this, then I actually do wear this one. Um, and the tag is still on it, but I have worn this out. Like, I really like this for the hotness. And then, yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, these were Saks pajamas that I'm, like, obsessed with. I'm going to wait for the right time to wear them. And this cute little nighty. I'm kind of obsessed with this. I'm going to, like, make this closet, like, stuff I'm going to wear. I wear these all the time. These are also sad boy overalls that are something similar is coming soon. And then the last kind of thing, there's this little section over here that I didn't show you. Those were runner up um, shoes there, those Jimmy Choo's at the top. The sandals I'm going to be wearing when we go on our honeymoon and the heels were an option for a dress that I'm wearing at our second wedding. Um, yeah, I kind of went through this, the infamous Balenciaga shirt. Yeah. And then down below we have just some knickknacks. It's like an Anna Nicole shirt and a Gucci sunglasses. I do have two mirrors in this closet. There's a mirror there and a mirror directly across. So it kind of looks like infinity, which I really like. All right, these lights. All right, and then this is like the shoe portion of the closet. It just has like sneakers and stuff. Um, I love these Prada combat boots. I haven't worn them yet, the white and pink ones. Um, and then those are my favorite Prada wedges right here. I used to wear these Dolce & Gabbana sneakers all the time. Um, Frenemies sneakers that we were supposed to wear for our merch shoe, R.A.P. Frenemies. It says Frenemies on the Mac. So sad. I was really excited to wear those. And then we have some Versace kicks up there. Those Louis Vuittons I just unboxed, and I'm so excited to wear these in the winter. They look like little marshmallows and comfy. And yeah, the Giuseppe's. I used to be obsessed with Giuseppe's and Audis. I used to wear these all the time. They had like a wedge, and I thought they were so cool. Yeah, all right. So this is it for the first closet. Let's go into my second closet. Okay, so this is like my second closet. This is kind of like my overflow closet. This is the closet that has an island. So I really like this closet. So yeah, we put the island in. This was just a room for island in. I have no idea why my Christian American Girl doll is there, but I guess I'm guessing Moses put it in. But yeah, I love this island. This is like a white sparkly marble. It took so long to get, and I, it's worth it though. Like I always wanted an island. Um, okay, let me take you in here. So we kind of painted these walls. If I'm being honest, I don't think they like. I don't think like. They knew how to do the glass, which I know is like difficult, but this is like glass shards that they that you like spray onto the wall. And it looks good from far away, but then there's some spots that are kind of white and streaky. So whatever, it's cool. It reminds me of a Tiffany's box, so I'm not mad about it. I actually love it. So yeah, there's just like a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. So we're gonna just kind of do like this full. Up there are the book bags. Obviously, the my cam is my favorite. And then we have purses right below that, and then we have some jackets. My favorite being the Danger Days. They're making hoodies and stuff like this now, and I'm really excited. I ordered a bunch, and Hot Topic just came out with a bunch of Danger Days, but this replica jacket I love. Got it off eBay. It's my favorite. And some other fun things. It's like Fendi stuff. I like this Versace robe. <laughs> Versace robes are hella tacky, but they're actually really comfortable. And they are actually really warm. And there's something kind of cozy. They just feel like a giant towel. 10 out of 10 recommend. And my Happy Gilmore jacket that Adam Sandler wore. And my written and directed by Kill Bill. I haven't worn this yet, but I thought it was super cute. And I'm really excited to wear it. Most things I haven't worn. I just buy things. And then I usually end up wearing the same three things that are just like four over my bathtub. So I'm really just a shopaholic. <laughs> okay. But finally you can see my stuff. Here's another little shoe haven. 
We got some Christian Dior's. We got some of my vintage Christian Dior over here. The pinks are kind of where they're at. I just did this whole closet tour, so I'm trying to think like what they showed or what they're not showing. Um, my Yeezys were like my favorite thing to match with Cedric. We used to like wear Yeezys on tour all the time. These are new, so like obviously, but the ones we wore on tour all the time are right here. And I totally think of us like dancing in these and these were so cool, I thought. I used to wear these all the time. I thought these would be my wedding shoes, but I wore them too much. <laughs> but I always envision myself wearing sneakers. Like, I, I, you know, I got bad knees. I always envision myself wearing sneakers at my wedding. And then, of course, my favorite are probably my Gerard Way, my Chemical Romance sneakers. I thought they're really cool. And Dear Evan Hansen is coming out. So I have that as well. My Ben Platt and Mike Feist over here, the original Connor Murphy. I'm really sad he's not in the movie, but he is in West Side Story, so that's exciting. And then my most worn are probably my Lightning McQueen <laughs> Crocs. And then we have this cute little window that looks outside. It's got all the Tiffany, um, all the Tiffany bags. And then over this way, there's a huge mirror right there. And we have another Tiffany purse in the corner. Let's actually show you guys over here. So yeah, this is like a huge mirror. It's like really, really big. I don't even think you can see, but this is like, the other ones are kind of narrow. This is definitely a wide one. And I have yet to take mirror selfies in this actually. I need to... I need to take a mirror full length. Um, yeah, but as far as this goes, I kind of have an overflow of purses. Like, I have a, I have a room downstairs that has a bunch of clothing racks of clothes. So if you're like, where are your clothes? Usually my Fashion Nova stuff is down there. And I, I wear, like, you guys, I wear Fashion Nova all the time. Like, I know I'm, like, sponsored by them. This is not sponsored. But, like, even this outfit. But I just, I, Fashion Nova fits me. Like, I don't have to think about it. I can just put on the outfit. Um, and then I got like hoodies and t-shirts over here. I'm trying to think of like if there's any cute ones to show. I don't know. There's not that many cute ones. Well, let me show you something over here. This is my Vuitton jacket. I wore this in an episode of Frenemies. This is when I got Frenemies money, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was just buying $6,000 jackets. I would never do that normally, but you know like when you get an extra like stream of income that you like don't expect, it's like getting like an extra paycheck. You don't like you know then you start spending stuff more silly. So if any friend of me is, it's like you know I just can't buy these kind of jackets. But everyone's just like the money. The money was fine, of course, but I'm not driven by money. And then we have I mean I have to live. The other thing is when I'm like I'm not driven by money, and then people are like oh then why do you do only? It's like well I gotta I gotta I gotta work. I'm mean, I gotta make some money. I do have to make my music videos. <laughs> Trisha Live. This is for my first tour. Yeah. I'll take money. I want to make money, but it doesn't drive me. So this is my wall of Louis Vuitton behind me. We got my Chanel's, some Moschino, some Versace's. I love this black and red Chanel. It reminded me of my <laughs> Of course it does. And I think I did a Louis Vuitton collection at my other house. I'll show you guys again. Down there. Okay. So as far as these, this is my newest one, which is ironic because it's actually the oldest. This is from like 2000. I don't know what year this was, but this had the flower Louis Vuitton. I was so obsessed with this print. I was excited to find this bag. So I'm like really into buying vintage bags. I love Louis Vuitton. I will say... My word of advice, always buy Louis Vuitton if you're looking for your first designer bag, your only designer bag, a designer bag you want to last forever that'll hold its value, Louis Vuitton. And I also think they're, re they're reasonably priced for like a luxury brand. Um, I love this Mykonos duffel bag. Um, I got this tax-free over in Mykonos. I was really excited to have that. And um, I absolutely love these multicolored ones. I think my favorite... I showed this, I think, in a TikTok, but let me show it again here. I love this. This is my favorite. This is like the Jessica Simpson one. I'm obsessed with this bag. She carried it all the time in Newlyweds. So anything with that print, I love. And because I couldn't afford these kind of bags when they were out, I like to buy them vintage now. And then, of course, the world's smallest Louis Vuitton bag, which I think is super cute. I used to wear this one all the time. I really, really like this one. And then this one I used to wear a lot, too, the Monet. But, like I said, I really wear, like, Adam Sandler purses now. So, if you want to see an Adam Sandler purse haul, I've been buying so many Adam Sandler purses for, like, 30 bucks off eBay. Because I don't really 
know if it's like legal to sell like a person. I mean, there's like closet space in there, but I gotta organize it. I'm not sure if it's like legal to sell someone else's like image. You know, like they're, I guess it's okay. It's not like I'm reselling it or anything, but I guess I did pay somebody. But yeah, that is my second closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this closet tour. Um, yeah, I have to give a huge shout out, obviously, to my fiance Moses. He kind of designed it and worked it and got it all together. He also organized everything. <laughs> it's so cute. Like he's, oh, he's just the best. This is why sometimes I like have to just gush over him because he's just like, I was like he spent four days just like putting together everything so it makes me happy just to look at everything like sometimes I see these little things that he put together I'm just noticing now that little phantom mask in there he's so good he's really good at like coordinating everything oh my baby Valenciaga it's like I'm still like learning this myself so yeah if there's anything I should delve more in depth to please let me know I'm very very grateful for my closet I gave this disclaimer at the end of bonkers so I'm gonna give it again um just in case they cut it because it's really long like things don't equal happiness money does not equal happiness i buy things because like it's 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 something like when i was a little kid i didn't get much like you know no one needs this money or stuff but you know i for me it was like this thing that i could buy stuff for myself i'm like happy about it like material things i like give me joy but they definitely didn't make me happy i like now i'm not spending money on like things i don't buy expensive shoes and purses that much anymore here and there but like there was a time i was spending my entire i was getting making maybe fifty thousand dollars a month right that's a lot of money i was making fifty thousand dollars a month off youtube and i was spending it on just designer bags and shoes and that's that's what all this is like an accumulation of years you know and i and i love seeing it it brings me joy i remember each milestone i remember the monet bag i remember like i remember when buying these things I loved it and it brought me joy at the time, but it didn't bring me happiness. You know what I mean? Buying and shopping is temporary highs for me. And since obviously being in a, finally a healthy relationship, I haven't had to fulfill that or fill that with buying and spending. Um, maybe partially, partially due to quarantine and stuff and just not being able to, but I realized like happiness really does come from like within and being fulfilled within and spending it on experiences are worth it. So there was like a year I was spending, I was making like $100,000 a month. I was spending the $100,000 paycheck on trips and spending the entire $100,000. And to me, that was way more worth it. I love things. I love stuff like it is. But if you're going to spend money on one or the other, always spend it on the experience. Um, I thought, I saw Daniel Perez t tweet this quote, this like inspiring image and said something along the lines of like, you know, go on that vacation. Money comes back, but time does not. So you can always get a Louis Vuitton bag. They're always going to have never fulls forever but those experiences those moments you create with people you just never know how long you have with someone that to me is worth more and i say that as i'm sitting in this closet i'm very blessed and grateful but just know that it does not make you happy if you're looking for things to fulfill you they can bring joy if you're that kind of person purses bring joy to me just by looking at them um but it will not fulfill a void be happy with yourself i didn't even show you guys this real quick but there was more sunglasses over here a little bonus one right here we got more jewelry. A lot of this is just costume jewelry. And then I got sunglasses. Go for it. I didn't even show you guys that. I'm obsessed with sunglasses. I think sunglasses are always like reasonable too. I love these vintage ones. Maybe I should do like more in-depth sunglasses, like try them on and stuff. I love tortoiseshell sunglasses. These are all tortoiseshells over here. And then I have my prescription glasses. Got some socks, some Adam Sandler socks, and then my Valentino shoes down here, which are the most comfortable heels in the whole wide world. I don't even know if they make the Valentino studded, but they are so comfortable and they are so worth the price. They're the only shoes I can wear. And then we got more stockings there, and then I think over here, I can show you what was in the island. I was like, I'm so excited to have an island, and then don't even show you what's in it. There's nothing on top. I don't have that much jewelry. Sunglasses. Some scarves and gloves, shoes. I don't even know. Some aviators. And some hats and scarves. All right, that wraps it up for real, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want to see any more in depth anything, just let me know and let, I will love to film for you guys. And I hope you have a great day and. Hope you enjoyed my closet tour. <laughs> Bye guys.